Hello everyone, in this session we're going to add in some scale constraints to our model. So what a scale constraint does is it allows us to scale our arbitrary model. Remember we do not have any ground control points, so this model is not geo-referenced. But we would like to get it to a uh, realistic size of what it would actually be in the real world. So that's what scale constraints will do. It allows us to scale the model down to a real world size. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, uh, come down to the layers section. I'm going to turn off my cameras because uh, I don't really need those on right now for that uh, for this portion. But you can see here, based on my bench, uh, I, I've got some uh, uh, segments. And if you recall to our very first segment when we were setting up the project, I did some measurements when I was out in the field. So when I was uh, actually out taking the pictures, I measured two distances on my object. So I've got uh, one distance along the lengthwise of the table, which I measured to be a meter and a half. And I've also got another distance I measured from the width of the table, which is one meter in length. So I've got those two distances that I measured in the field. Uh, and now I'm going to use those as scale constraints. So if you've got your processing area on, you can probably turn that off too. Uh, and again, turn your cameras off. That'll be a little bit easier. But uh, in the Ray Cloud uh, view, you'll see your Create tab. Notice the processing area is grayed out because that's because we already have one applied there. Uh, but right next door to that, we've got the new scale constraint. So I can add it there. I can also get to it from the uh, pull down as well. Uh, but uh, if you click this little button, what we're going to do is a, a section pops up down here at the bottom, and I'm going to it's going to ask me to pick two points. So these are going to be the two locations on my on my uh, object. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to measure out lengthwise the length of that uh, object. That's the distance I'm going to use. So I'll just pick uh, one point on one edge, and notice it's drawing a kind of a little arrow uh, along the, my trajectory. So I'm going to select the second location, select that point and then just right click and it'll add in my my distance so it's got these two big brown markers don't let that throw you uh, but you'll notice here on my object it goes through all of the different images that 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 lengthwise along that table appears and what I'll want to do is I'll just want to position those right on the edges so I'll just go and move those in there like that uh, to that edge there and zoom into there and make sure that one's right at the corner and uh, it should follow along the rest of those as close as it can, but uh, you know if you can get it on there uh, as close as you can get it, that's even better. So make sure that's right on the edge of the table. And once I've got those positioned, there's two things you'll need to do. Make sure they're positioned properly on all the images if you can. And uh, lastly, you have to apply the length. So in my case, if you recall, the length of that table is one and a half meters in length. So I'll just throw that in there, 1.5, hit enter, and then I'll say apply. Now, uh, it's good if you can get in a couple of uh, scale constraints. That will help. Okay, so I've notice I've got a scale constraint here. If you if you messed it up, you can always right click and remove that scale constraint and redo it. Uh, if you need to edit it, just go ahead and select it, and then you can go into any of these windows and make the changes. I'm going to make another new scale constraint. So I'm going to click a new scale constraint again, and this time I'm going to pick along the width of that. Uh, table. So I'll pick one end and then when I get to my point I just right click and that'll add in that scale constraint and again here I'll just want to make sure I uh, fine tune those distances to the edges of the table and you can pan and zoom around in here just like uh, any other window in PIX4D but make sure those are right at the edge and that should uh, align the rest of the images as well as you're moving those around. So go ahead and double check and if you gotta make some uh, fine tunings to that then uh, no problem go ahead and do that uh, check those out you can see in some of them it doesn't quite work so we'll have to go and fit those in there but I usually check out most of those and and just ensure that they're all gonna look good so it looks like they're all finding those points really well and uh, uh, I should be good up to this point okay and when you're done of course you have to enter in the width so, or the distance. So in this case that width is one meter and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in there. Uh, 
and uh, give it that distance and when I'm finished I click apply so if you've got other uh, scale constraints you can add those in as well if it's becoming too intrusive you can always just turn it off uh, and that will uh, remove those if you like so that's how you can add in scale constraints uh, don't forget to scale your model or sorry pardon me save your model and then now you can get on to the uh, uh, final processing so check out that last video for the final processing procedures thanks for watching bye now